My name is Chris, I'm a field archaeologist with Wessex Archaeology and we are currently in the centre of the city of Bristol. This site uh, dates from the 1840s, um, well it, it began in the 1840s and it's actually a smelting works. Um, it was running for over 100 years and didn't uh, get closed down until the 1960s. So basically they were smelting metals copper, gold, everything but iron. We have found substantial remains of uh, the buildings that were here from the 1840s. Um, some of it's quite complicated obviously because over that hundred year period stuff came down, they, re they rebuilt, they remodelled, they redesigned. So it's been a case of kind of picking through and working out what's from the 1840s, what's from the 1890s, what's from the 1920s. Um, so yes, yeah, substantial archaeology. We've even got some of the old ladders to go down into some of the bits where the furnaces are. Um, a variety of different types of cobbles and brickworks and some bits as yet we actually don't quite know why they're there and what they're doing. The main obstacles have been contamination, which is why I'm in a hazmat suit and when I'm actually uh, cleaning, getting stuff ready for photography and photogrammetry, we have to wear to wear these so because obviously of the metal working there are traces of arsenic and other chemicals that you really wouldn't want to be ingesting or breathing in and from the later 20th century there's asbestos as well. So the process of photogrammetry on this site has been slightly more complicated than usual but one because it's such a large area um, secondly, um, the different levels and planes we've got going on so and also sometimes trying to find a stable surface for me to actually have the tripod on so I can actually take the photograph. So um, there have been several challenges. The main process is to uh, take as many photographs as you possibly can from every single bit on site from every angle. So you're actually um, I sort of work my way around and I will be pivoting the camera one, two, three, next, one, two, three, next, one, two, three, and then above. Um, so I get a photograph of everything from every possible angle I could possibly get. So once the photographs are taken, um, for example, with this site, I think I've taken about 1,500 photos. So it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of photos. Um, they are then downloaded from the camera, uploaded into the computer and sent off to head office where the geomatics team um, will upload the photographs, put them into the software and then the software kind of finds everything. We also use geomatic tags which the software can see and from those it can map everything and works out where everything kind of fits. That generally takes a couple of hours, I think, and then basically you'll have a, a, literally a 3D model of, um, of the entire site. Uh, the great thing about it, obviously, is then you have a complete photographic record of the entire site, um, and you can zoom in and you can turn it around, you can turn it upside down and you can get down into it. So you actually, it's almost like having the site in a mini version on your laptop or computer or whatever that is perfect. Mm -hmm.